Hey YouTube, this is MindTech. Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing off a very useful Chrome extension that allows you to increase and decrease and skip forward and backward in any HTML5 across the entire web. Now I originally installed this extension because I had class lectures that I had to view that did not have built-in video speed controllers. And trust me, the professor talked incredibly slowly. I could not have survived that class without this extension. So without any further further ado, let me show you how to install it and how to configure it. So the extension is available on the Chrome Web Store and it is of course compatible with any browser that uses the Chromium engine. It has over 2 million users, over 3,000 positive ratings. It is also open source so you can view the GitHub repository for this and fork it, modify it for yourself, do whatever you want with it. And I specifically chose this extension not only because of all the positive ratings but also because it is open source. That allows other users to go and look through the source code and ensure that there isn't any malicious stuff that's going to steal your data or anything built into this. It also doesn't ask to read through any website data or anything like that or intercept any personal data. So I am confident that it is a secure extension. The extension appears as a little rewind icon up in the top right. And it is very simple, very straightforward to customize. That's what I really like about it. That's really no thrills. You can change the hotkeys that allow you to increase and decrease the speed and also fast forward through your video. And you can also set the amount of increments that you want. You can also whitelist certain web pages to prevent this extension from working on them. Let's say you don't want it to work with YouTube and you only want it to work with your class lecture videos. You can go and type in youtube.com here to whitelist YouTube from that. And the proof really is in the pudding here. So if I press the S key, that's going to decrease the speed on the video. And there's a little overlay here that you can actually move around the video player to go and view the current speed of the video. And if you have over that you can go and increase and decrease this with the GUI. If I go and press the D key that's going to increase the video speed and if I go and press the X key that will jump forward by 10 seconds and the Z key will jump backwards by 10 seconds. And if I go and press the R key, that's going to reset the video speed. And if I go and press the G key, that's going to set it to my preferred speed, which is currently set to 1.8. I can go and customize this in the video speed controller settings. I could set that to, let's say, 1.3. And if I go and save that option and refresh the web page here and press the G key, that's now going to set it to 1.3. And if I press that again, that'll toggle it back to the one speed. This also works on other websites sites, not just YouTube. If I go on to Twitch, and right now it's playing at normal speed. Press the D key the here to increase the speed, the S key to decrease the speed. And it's really nice that I don't have to go and search the many different HTML5 video players to try to find those settings independently. I can also go and do this on Amazon. This has been very useful for very long and boring product videos that I just want to get through before deciding to purchase something. I'm going to use the GUI to go and decrease that to normal, press X to skip forward a few seconds, and press D to go and increase the speed. The key limitation to this, however, is that it only works with HTML5 video. I'd say at this point that is pretty much a standard, but there are some legacy websites that still use Flash. I've been using this for half a year already. It has worked perfectly fine. I love the customizability, but I especially just love the simplicity. Again, it's honestly been a lifesaver for classes who use videos that don't have embedded speed controls. It's so frustrating, and this solved my problem instantly. So with that said, thank you all so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Bye-bye.